Welcome. Let's look at three easy tips to open the voice. Because sometimes when we are chanting in yoga, we can feel a little shy or blocked in this area. This is a very common area where we get blocked in. So a lot of us have been told, you know, as, as children to be quiet. Don't shh, please, you know. So we end up blocking the energy in this area of the throat. And it's really important and it's really powerful to start to open this up again. And the practices in yoga of chanting, mantra, and kirtan can really help with this. But three little tips that I've learned along the way in my yoga journey that really help to open the energy in this center is um, the first one is Simha Mudra. And this is a very powerful technique where we come onto the knees and sit on the heels. And we're going to bring the hands into a fist like this. Take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to spread. It's like we throw any energy that is tight within us. We throw it out. <sighs> the tongue comes right out. And the breath or the sound is whatever comes out. We're letting go of, of trying to make any pretty sounds. We're just allowing whatever needs to come out. Sometimes it can sound like... <sighs> Sometimes a little like a little noise will come out, but we don't, it doesn't matter. So let's take a deep breath in together. Really stretching the tongue and holding it. And again. Let's do one more. Good, and then just relax. Feel the jaw relaxing, feel the tongue, the roof of the mouth, the face, the throat. And then start to just move back and forth. We're going to open the throat and just make some circles. Circling in this area is removing any blocked energy, any stuck energy. Focusing on the throat and in the opposite direction. Let the jaw become relaxed. The tongue is soft. And then massaging the jaw. We want the jaw to remain relaxed as we're singing or chanting. And we hold a lot of tension in the jaw, so just feel that really, really, it's so nice, relaxing. Mm. Good, and the last tip will be coming into a cross-legged position. We're going to come into Brahmari, the humming bee breath. So we're taking a deep breath in, and on the exhalation we are We can place the tip of the tongue behind the two front teeth. And then we have the roof of the mouth and the top of the tongue. It's like a little cave. And this is where the vibration is resonating within. And we can feel that vibration coming up into the face, into the head. And you might feel it also a little bit in the throat. So feeling the vibration in like opening all of this area. So let's take a deep breath in. Mm -hmm. We'll do it 
do it a few more times. sounds. Take a deep breath in and let's do OM together. Um. And again, deep breath in. Relaxing the jaw. Uh. Last time. Uh... Mm. So I hope that's helped to create a little bit more freedom, openness and a beautiful sound in your vocal region so you can chant more and you can enjoy that practice of chanting thank you hmm.